Okay, I'm Jeff Mello. I'll be your cameraman tonight and your host. And uh, so as as you can see beside me, behind me here, we have our new FOA shocks all hanging up. FOA hooked us up this year. It's uh, one month away from King of the Hammers. We've uh, had the shocks for a little while, and we're starting to get them onto the Jeep. Producer's a little torn down, but I thought we'd take a couple of minutes right now, see if I can maybe spend you spend two minutes saving you guys hours later. So this is the all thread shock mount kit or shock mount idea, and basically all we did was we took a piece of all thread, ran both shocks through it, as you can see, centered the tops on the vehicle as closely as I could get, guesstimated. What this allows us to do is run these nuts in and out real quick and adjust side to side where the shocks are going to be. And also, if we grab this little piece right here and just bend back and forth, we can move the shock fore and aft, and that just gets it located. Once we get it located, piece of cake. We'll run a tube over this, we'll run a couple tabs down. We know everything's in the right spot. So the couple things I'm looking for here, one tire on, one tire off, is how close this tire is going to come in and how much I can inboard or outboard the top of this shock. I'm also looking down here at the steering knuckle. This spring perch represents the maximum width. That's as low as it's ever going to get, so we've got a little bit of room there. And that, that's the maximum width of the spring all the way up, so we need to make sure we have all that room everywhere, which, as you can see over here, we don't. We don't have a whole bunch of room up here, and I cut some frame out and moved it in down here, but I still don't have enough room, so first thing I'm going to do is move this shock outboard on my all thread and see if that gives us enough clearance down at the frame during full droop. This side's going to be worse because this is a pan card bar car, so it always swings to the driver's side when it goes down. And then if it doesn't work to get enough room back there by moving the all thread out, since I know I have room to move it out based on the tire over on that side, I can also move it forward and it's a little bit curved in over here. I also may need to replace this piece and move it in a little bit further, that's why it's just tack welded. So anyway, that's the whole barn built for tonight. All thread shock built, shock locating trick. No problem. <laughs>